hello everybody i hope you're doing well and i hope you're feeling great so i'm back today with one more text effect from our 80s text effect from hyperpix collections so as you see here we have a so so gorgeous and brilliant style from our collection with a so so realistic summary term which gives us a nostalgic feeling and the warm colors is so great and gives us a warm feeling inside so you must have seen this style in music covers movies and banners and you must like to have and use a style dress like this in your projects and works so the good news is that by using this template and by watching this video you can get to this beautiful adorable style in less than a few minutes you don't need to be professional on photoshop and you don't need to hire a designer to do this for you the design which our designers have made allows you to just do a few simple clicks on any logo or any text any font or any language there's no problem you can convert it into this amazing 80s text effect and use it in all your different personal and commercial projects and enjoy and surprise your customers and impress them so uh, if you want to know how you can uh, use this style on a different language you can just check out this example which is on Japanese language and the result is amazing just check out the lights and the contrast and brightness and how great the resolution is and it stands out fantastic so don't worry about the language about the phone or anything else there's no limit so if you want to download this template just refer to hyperfakes.net and join the VIP members and you're going to have uh, unlimited access to all of our styles which we have on Hyperpix, also our future updates. So let's get started with editing this adorable style and we're going to see how we can edit. So to edit these two main texts, just to right click on the year layer and click edit content. So in the window which appears right here, we have two texts which you can just edit them just notice that the first and last character are a little larger than the others and the others in between are a little smaller so if you want to have the exact same style you just need to select the first character separately type whatever you want the others just like this and finally the last character just like this so click ok so we do the same for the text at the bottom the first and the last character are a little larger so just like this we're going to type and here we go so two things you need to note and pay attention first is that these texts have a arch and a like for example bend which if you want to adjust you just need to select the text tools and select the layer you want and click warp in the bend section you can select the bend and adjust it to your likings if you want it to be just like the default you just need to place both on zero also up here you need to place it on 100 so your text be normal and straight so we have the same with the bottom text. The second thing you need to note is that if you double click on this icon right here in the pattern overlay a layer, you can adjust the pattern which you have and like take it to left or right, just drag and place it wherever you like and whichever pattern you have in mind, you can just place it right there and okay. So also the same with the text at the bottom. You can do the same. Also, you can just decrease the scale of the style. So the noise and the pattern is going to be a little less. 
if you place it on 25 it's going to be very small just like this or 50 or 100 so photoshop works on these uh, scales mostly so if you place it on anything in between it won't look so great and have a blur so place it on one of these three so we click ok and click save and we're going to wait until our beautiful 3d effect is applied so as you see the result is so so gorgeous and brilliant i'm sure you think the same so let's get on with editing the rest of the text and the rest of the layers just before from the effects folder just switch off the extrusion section temporary so we could get on much more faster because this uh, text effect is very complicated and it could make you a little slow in editing don't worry we'll come back finally and switch it back on so the first folder is adjustments folder which is the co uh, color brightness and contrast settings as you see just like this so we have the inner shadow uh, settings right here also the noise which you see spread all over the scene which from this section right here you can have a control on it and handle it just like this you can switch it off or switch it on so also the next part is this text at the top right here which you can just double click and edit it and type whatever you have in mind just like this going to adjust a little move it around so the next part is this text at the bottom right here which you can edit this as well we have the sparkles which uh, like all our other products we have them right here and they help you to have a much more attractive so you just need to select them one by one and place them in the right place wherever you have in mind wherever you want to have a like cute light reflection just place them right there it's so so easy you just need a little patience just like this as you see and here we go so we have the last sparkle and we'll place it so also with the alt button you can get copies of the sparkles and drag them wherever you have in mind so this is another easier way to do so so we're done here with the sparkles uh, the effects folder we don't need it we ignore it because it contains the main layers of our style and finally we have the background folder which it contains all the layers and the objects in the background there are in all separate layers for example the palm trees on the left and the right which you can select them switch them off on also the texture which we have right here the grid at the bottom right here on the floor and the light shining from the background they're all customizable and our designers honestly they've done great so we come back finally and we switch extrusion back on until we have a perfect 3d effect so i might take a little moment just like the so we're done right here the result is charming i hope you enjoyed it so now let's get on and see how we're going to convert our um, logo into this beautiful style i'm going to see how easy it is to do so. so just need to double click on the smart object window and we come back here just need to insert your logo I'm going to use Heineken logo. Uh, just try to place it right uh, where it was uh, on the other text, just like this here. So place it right in the center. We don't need these two texts, just bring them down a little. So I'm going to uh, right click and copy the style from the first text and place it on my logo just like this so what happens right here is that this pattern right here is going to get a little messed up we just need to double click and from the pattern overlay um adjust it and place it wherever you want so if you want to have a pattern on the star as well you just need to uh, switch this layer in two different sections you just need to select one of the tools and separate the top and the bottom layer which you can do so with Control, Shift, and J button, 
and as you see the star is in a different section and layer right now so you can also select it from the layer menu at the top right here and select the new folder and layer new cut right here which is the same or, or you can do it using your keyboard or the menu at the top here so now you can adjust the pattern for your star as well which is a brilliant ability so also the same with the text at the bottom you can adjust the pattern i'm going to place the scale on 50 just bring it drag it down a little and i think it's fine right here so we don't need these two texts right here just remove them and close and click save so going to wait to see our result so as you see it's beautiful beyond belief our style is applied to this logo as well and the result is stunning honestly you just need to what you need to do is to just place the sparkles in the right place and if you want to um like have a little a depth with the 3d you could just select it from the levels right here of the extrusion and it's the level as a level of our 3d effect i'm going to just switch two levels off right here it just might take a moment so as you see it's not pretty now as much as before so i think the result is great so i'm not going to take your time i'm just going to show you the final result as you see right here and i just brought this text right here and changed the text and placed the sparkles in the right place so i'm sure you enjoyed this video if you want to download this text if you just need to refer to hyperpix.net join the vip membership and you're going to access our whole collection of all of our styles 80s cinematic game cartoon watercolor and all of our different products you're going to be surprised also you're going to have our future updates and you're going to have so many surprises every week don't forget to like this video subscribe and share with your friends bye to our next video